Kawasaki disease. The Kawasaki disease is also called as mucocutaneous lymph node syndrome and it is the second most common vasculitis in the children. The most common vasculitis in the children is IgA vasculitis which is also known as Hanok Shunli and Purpura and second most common vasculitis in children is the Kawasaki disease. So IgA vasculitis as well as Kawasaki both are vasculitis of pediatric group. So let us begin with the session. Kawasaki disease is also called as mucocutaneous lymph node syndrome because of the oral mucosal lesions, because of the involvement of the skin, because of the involvement of the cervical lymph node, cervical lymphadenopathy, it is called as mucocutaneous lymph node syndrome. So it is, it is a necrotizing vasculitis, necrotizing vasculitis of medium sized vessels, necrotizing vasculitis of medium sized vessels, medium sized, medium sized vessels more commonly coronary arteries, coronary arteries, MCQ question, necrotizing vasculitis. Kawasaki disease is also called as mucocutaneous lymph node syndrome and it presents with the necrotizing vasculitis of medium sized vessels more commonly the coronary arteries. Because of the involvement of the coronary arteries, the coronary artery thrombosis as, as well as aneurysms may be seen. Coronary artery thrombosis as well as aneurysms may be the complication of the involvement of the coronary arteries due to necrotizing vasculitis of the coronary arteries. And it is more commonly seen in children less than 5 years of age, less than 5 years of age. But the peak incidence of the disease is the MCQ point. The peak incidence of the disease is seen in infants aged 9 to 11 months. So what is the peak incidence? Peak incidence is 9 to 11 months, MCQ point. Even though it is seen in the children less than 5 years of age, the peak incidence of the disease is seen between 9 to 11 months of infants. And remember that it is extremely rare in infants who are younger than 3 months of age. Now, what is the cause of Kawasaki? The cause of Kawasaki is idiopathic. That is the reason we can say that idiopathic necrotizing vasculitis of the medium sized vessel called as coronary arteries idiopathic medium sized vessel vasculitis which is mainly characterized by fever as well as mucocutaneous inflammation. So fever as well as mucocutaneous inflammation, fever as well as mucocutaneous inflammation and it is associated with the antibodies which are produced against endothelial cells as well as smooth muscles that precipitate vasculitis. For example, if you take this is the coronary artery lumen, the coronary artery inner lining is by the endothelial cells, these are the endothelial cells, right. So the antibodies directed against endothelial cells as well as these are the smooth muscles directed against endothelial cells as well as smooth muscles of the coronary artery. 
So, because of the involvement of endothelial cells as well as smooth muscle cells of the coronary artery, there will be a necrotizing vasculitis of the coronary arteries, right. So, antibodies are directed against endothelial cells as well as smooth muscle cells of coronary arteries, of coronary arteries. So, even though the Kawasaki disease is usually self-limited, but potentially life-threatening coronary artery aneurysms may develop in 20 to 25 percent of the children without treatment. So, without treatment, 20 to 25 percent of the children may develop coronary artery aneurysm. So, 20 to 25 percent of the children may develop coronary artery aneurysm without treatment, without treatment. 20 to 20 percent of the patients may develop aneurysms of the coronary artery without uh, treatment versus less than 5 percent with appropriate therapy. There is a reason identification as well as diagnosis of the disease is extremely important to prevent the development of coronary artery aneurysm which is the leading cause of death in this particular disease. Now, let us talk about the mortality. Mortality most often occurs within the first weeks to a year after Kawasaki disease mainly due to ischemic heart disease. So, the mortality is more commonly due to cause of death, COD, cause of death in Kawasaki is due to acute myocardial infarction mainly because of uh, extensive coronary artery thrombosis and aneurysms, the aneurysms may rupture and may develop acute myocardial infarction that is ischemic heart disease. So, death of the children of Kawasaki is more commonly due to acute myocardial infarction. That is the reason the most common cause of acute myocardial infarction in children will be Kawasaki disease. So, remember whenever you see questions in the exam, in the exam they will ask you what is the most common vasculitis in the children. So, automatically you will select that it is IgA vasculitis. But sometimes they will ask you what is the vasculitis which causes high mortality rate? What is the vasculitis which leads to acute myocardial infarction in children? Then your answer should be Kawasaki disease. The vasculitis which has leading cause of death in children is Kawasaki. But most common vasculitis without talking about mortality IgA vasculitis. That is the reason remember that Kawasaki disease is the most common cause of acute myocardial infarction in the children and very very important MCQ point. Leading cause of death in Kawasaki disease is due to ischemic heart disease that is acute myocardial infarction is mainly because of thrombosis as well as aneurysms. Aneurysm may rupture lead to acute MI. But if you see the infants who are younger than 6 months of age may be at increased risk of aneurysms even though the peak incidence is seen between 9 to 11 months, right. Now, let us talk about the classic case definition of Kawasaki disease. How can we diagnose this Kawasaki disease? Fever is the presenting symptom. Fever lasting at least of uh, 5 days or greater than that. So, fever should be present in a Kawasaki disease, but it should be at least of 5 days of duration or greater than that of 5 days of duration. Along with fever, if you have presenting symptoms like uh, bilateral bulbar conjunctival injection without exudate, bilateral bulbar conjunctival injections without exudate, one presenting feature along with fever. Second one will be oral mucosal changes like cracked lips, strawberry tongue. Remember that strawberry tongue in a pediatric group means think of Kawasaki disease or maybe a diffuse erythema of the mucosae. So, diffuse erythema of the mucosae, strawberry tongue, cracked lips, these are the important manifestations of the Kawasaki disease. Along with this, the third one will be changes in the extremities like uh, erythema induration or peeling of the skin. 
and exanthem which is widespread rash is called as exanthem and last will be cervical lymphadenopathy which is greater than 1.5 cm in diameter so along with the fever if all these presenting symptoms are seen then you can say that it is the diagnosis of kawasaki disease now let us talk about the laboratory findings of kawasaki disease in the kawasaki disease because of uh, the necrotizing vasculitis greater extension of uh, inflammatory infiltrates there will be an elevated esr erythrocyte sedimentation rate elevated c reactive protein leukocytosis as well as thrombocytosis these are the lab findings so this is what is about the kawasaki disease for example if you have a quick summary about the kawasaki disease once again the kawasaki disease causes idiopathic so that's the reason we will say that it is a idiopathic necrotizing vasculitis of the medium sized muscular arteries that is coronary arteries are the most common arteries to be involved in the kawasaki it is also called as mucocutaneous lymph node syndrome right it is more commonly seen in the children less than 5 years of age that's the reason we can say that kawasaki disease is the second most common vasculitis in the children after iga vasculitis and because of the involvement of the coronary arteries there may be a risk of development of thrombosis as well as aneurysms aneurysms are seen in approximately 20 to 25% of the children without treatment with the treatment this percentage will reduce to 5% right and peak incidence is 9 to 11 months that is the peak incidence and fever is the most common symptom along with the fever there will be a mucocutaneous inflammation right and remember that the most common cause of acute myocardial infarction in children is the kawasaki disease so the most com common cause of death in kawasaki disease is due to acute myocardial infarction right there will be antibodies which are directed against the endothelial cells as well as smooth muscle cells of the coronary arteries responsible for the development of vasculitis so this is what is about the kawasaki disease